Hi, it's episode 222. I like that number of your favorite daily podcast. A couple of things, a podcast about things. Today, we're going to talk about the Olympics just in general. I'm just going to talk about like all the things that I've realized, learned, found out ETC, about the Olympics. Given that when it started, I forgot that it was happening. But now I know too much. And I must tell you guys <laughs> about everything I know. <laughs> Firstly, let me just get this one out of the way. Although I didn't just know it slash learn it from this Olympic period, but it was re-emphasized to me about how much Nigeria as a country can get in the way of the people who are Nigerians. Like when I saw Favor of Philly's post about how they they didn't register her for the hundred meter race, I was like, how can your country of birth? be the weapon fashioned against you why and you just see all these stories there's a girl who did i think short put for the us and in the last olympics she was supposed to do it for nigeria but they didn't register her and my girl just was like i'm not doing this anymore i went to play and went to represent the us in the olympics and she won i think a silver gold medal she medaled her and it's just so annoying like people are putting in their best efforts they are training they are doing all the work for years and years and years and waiting for this one moment and then nothing because somebody forgot to do their job somebody didn't do their job and nothing is going to happen and it's so annoying i just had to put that out of the way now let's get into the fun stuff and the interesting stuff one i discovered that olympic couples are a thing and i love that and my favorite one that i discovered from this olympic is the paralympic runner who is married to a hurdle another runner and she does hurdles and all of those things and I saw the Instagram post. Are you guys? I there was t- tears were actually coming. Up. It was so cute. It was so beautiful. Ugh. Ah, Olympic couples, the best thing that I've discovered from this partial following of the Olympics. The second thing is that, like, on a m- mental level, like you know that Olympic athletes are like basically superhuman. You know that they are doing incredible things but some things happen and then it just contextualizes it for you when i saw the winner of i think the 100 meter freestyle swim not 100 meter i don't remember how many meters but it was a freestyle swimming thing and the guy who won the distance between him and the person who came second was insane it was a whole body spot i was like what is going on like these people are amazing they are doing amazing things how do you run a hundred meter race in nine seconds i'm not talking about swimming again i'm talking about the actual running running people people running on tracks when i was seeing the clips i was so confused i was like how is it possible for a human being to run this distance in nine seconds do you understand i saw <laughs> one of my friends to tell that when the race was about to start she looked down and was mixing her food together and by the time she looked up the race was over i was like how is that the things that the human body can do is insane are insane whatever is the sciences that she involved in what the human body does and can do like the the limits that people push themselves to and you see the possibilities is just so wow and the third thing and something that i like to talk about a lot and was just reinforced by this olympic period is that it's never too late to actually do anything you can literally decide to change your life in one minute you can literally decide to change everything you're doing you can decide to quit every single thing you've ever done before and do something new and even if you don't get to the olympics whatever that looks like you can actually find like fulfillment in it so there were two stories that i saw that i found very interesting and they were both women women being amazing and all one used to work in venture capitalists whatever or something and she quit her job and started riding bicycles like seven years ago like cycling as a sport like seven years ago and she had been competing doing doing things and she barely made it like she only made it into the olympic team i think for the u.s because somebody dropped out that's how she made it into the olympics and she was like i think she was on the wait list like first on the wait list and somebody dropped out and 
she got to represent the u.s in the cycling in the olympic cycling event and she got gold and this is somebody who just started seven years ago i saw an another woman who was a senior executive in either a fashion or cosmetic brand quit her job to go and do break dancing in the olympics also break dancing is an olympic sport you guys i didn't know that i was very shocked to find that out i also found out that gaming like they plan to include gaming in the next olympics or the one after it like as an actual sport so i'm still trying to figure out i'm going to come back to that but let's go back to this amazing woman who quit their jobs at very great points in their careers to go and pursue another interest and i don't know if the breakdancing lady won the breakdancing event but the cycling lady got gold america's first gold in cycling in forever or something again i'm talking off the top of my head so i don't remember all the facts so some things may be not 100 percent accurate but the general sense is there and then those were the two women who i was like wow this is so amazing then i saw another one where there was this woman from an asian country i don't remember what asian country it is but i think it was an asian country and she was in the she was like either in her 50s or almost 50 and she met out i don't remember if she won gold and i don't remember what sport it was for but it was so amazing like this whole thing just reminded me of the thing that i've always believed that it is never too late or even too early to do anything that you want to do you can literally wake up any day and decide to do something different with your life because it is your life you can do what you want you have this is the only life that you have there is no part two or part three this is the one life you have and you can live multitudes of lives in your one life you can have many things that you explore and do and it's just so amazing and so beautiful and so fascinating and so interesting and like literally immediately i saw there was something i can't remember what i saw but i saw something and immediately i went to sign up for triathlon preparation because i was so gingered i was like wow like you can just wake up and do something i like, can just wake up and decide to do a triathlon i register for triathlon preparation classes and yeah so this is also me telling you guys that next year i'm going to do a triathlon and now that i've told you guys i have to do it i can't back out anymore i must do it so because i'm not a quitter <laughs> But yeah, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I saw. Oh yes, of course, the um, pistol people, the people who did the pistol things, the guy who did it without all the gear and the girl who was like, looked really, really cool. That was also very cool. Like, there's just so many very interesting things from this Olympics. And I saw so many things. For somebody who wasn't actively following it, there were just so many things that I saw that were so amazing and so inspiring and so great that there were just so many fun facts and reinforcement of learnings and ideas that i have picked up and it was just an amazing thing it's a fit i think it's an amazing fit to even do all those things like to decide that you're just going to wake up and do something and seven years later you're winning gold in the olympics for your country in an event that they haven't won gold in i think ever or in a very long time and it's just amazing the possibilities that exist if we just decide to just do something. And that's it for today. Thank you for listening to my random Olympics episode. Bye. There's still over 100 episodes to go. I still need questions. I still need suggestions of who to talk to. I still need people who want to come on to talk about something to fill the form. Um, so please do that. Thank you very much. And yeah, do like, share, subscribe if you found it interesting, insightful, and all the nice things. Bye.